everyone, I'm your female Taku and I'm here to review episode 11 of Food Wars Season 2. And with this episode, wait a minute, did I just say episode 11? Hold up, wait. Oh my gosh, this is episode 11. We only have two more episodes left. What the fuck? This season truly did fly by. It has been a really great season. I enjoyed it so much. Even though I did drop a couple of anime here and there, it was still like a very packed season with a lot of variety as well. So I don't know, just wanted to throw that out there. And then anyway, with this episode of Food Wars, I always love when we get into the more business side of the culinary arts world because it's just so interesting to me, especially just how Food Wars does it. Like, yeah, the tournaments and the shokugekis and stuff, they're always fun to watch. Those are great. But then whenever we get to like, say, the preparation to a battle or just learning more about the business side of the culinary arts world, it just I don't know, it, it intrigues me even more. And I learn something new in the process, and that's always great. So we learn about the stagier, stagier, I don't know. We, we learn more about the work study. Let's just go with that, because that's basically what it is. The students are partnered up, and they have to go over to like a restaurant and make their mark, make an impact on the restaurant. So what was interesting is that I thought that they would be going over to restaurants of, of, of people who like graduated from the school, but no, they actually went to like, you know, other diners or like things like restaurants like IHOP and stuff like that. Or, or like Aiden and Megami, you went over to like a more fancier kind of restaurant stuff, but still needed some improvement. So I thought that was interesting because the, the students, they had to basically improve the restaurant. I really liked that. Uh, what was interesting was with Erina and Megumi, and I was surprised that they got paired up because you, you'd think that Erina would get paired up with Soma because that's how it usually is. You know, they always end up meeting over at one spot, Erina gets pissed off and stuff like that, and then they end up having to work together or whatever like, like that. But no, instead Soma got paired up with Hisako, and I did not expect that. And I've never been fond of Hisako's character, I always found her pretty useless, but she actually got some really well needed development and I'm really happy with that because what's been brought up a lot with season 2, what Hisako's been doing is putting up a border between her and Edina. Edina always wants Hisako to come closer to her, but Hisako's just like, oh no, you can continue doing you, I'll just be here, that's all, I'm just gonna help you and stuff. But no, that's the problem. Hayama even mentioned this, like she only thinks of, of herself as like number two. So she just has to treat herself uh, as a friend to Erina. So Soma in the end, he was just all like, instead of trying to work behind her, why not try to work actually beside her? So I'm just all like, yes, Soma, preach. I don't know, I'll probably still call her the secretary from here and there because that's just like her nickname. But if she's able to stop treating Erina like a goddess and finally start treating each other as friends, because we know that Erina cares for Hisako, but Hisako still likes to be her servant and stuff. And no, Hisako should really change that. And it looks like that she is, so that's gonna be nice. And with Megumi, so proud of Megumi because over at the restaurant, she was tasked with washing the dishes and she wasn't helping cook at all. But then how is she going to pass if she's just washing dishes? She has to make her mark on the restaurant somehow. So she noticed that on the dishes that there was a lot of leftover sauce on some of the plates and so she was all like hey why don't we just give the customers like something so that they can pour as much sauce or uh, however much sauce they want to on their dish and then the chef he was just like you too you're gonna tell me what to do like of course i would be pissed off too if i was like a grown man like him and having all these high school girls telling him how to better his restaurant but edina she stepped up Erina stepped up and listened to Megumi. Erina was very kind to Megumi in this episode, so that was pretty chill of her. Not gonna lie, shocking, but you know, I'm, I'm happy that she did that. Uh, Erina listened to Megumi's ideas and now they're gonna start using them as well. And of course, Erina passed by improving on like all the dishes in the restaurant. And in the meantime, with Soma and Hisako, they went over to like an IHOP-like restaurant. But the thing is, is that 
with the problem with the restaurant is that recently the, tr the local train station turned into like a bullet train station. So now a lot more people have been coming in. They go in and out to the diner and stuff. And it's just too much work. They can't keep up. So Hisako was all like, oh, we, we should probably get rid of some items on the menu. But the thing is, is that this is a, a very memorable menu to these guys because it's this is like a this restaurant has been passed down from like generation to generation, so they don't want to take off some stuff from the menu. So what they decided to do is let it be reservation only. That's a good idea. I'm that, I'm really happy that they thought of that. That's something I wouldn't have thought up of. And these are the type of things that you got to think of for when you open up a restaurant and stuff. You got to think about uh, the location that you're in and stuff. So I'm really happy that Food Wars keeps bringing up these other topics when it comes to the business side of things. And this was only part one of the work study, so there's still going to be another stage, and at the end of the episode, we see Shinomiya. I've been waiting to see this man. I've been waiting, oh my gosh. This going to be great. So, do their partner changes? Does like their partner change every, every time? I don't know if they made that clear or not, if someone's going to get a new partner next week or not. But we'll see. And catch me later as I review rewrite. I'm your female otaku. Sayonara.